Now, where are you going, and why are you dressed like that? Well, Lois, I happen to be a Muslim now, which means I'll be spending a lot of my time in mostly empty cafes watching soccer on an 8-inch black-and-white TV. Yes, the team I like is kicking it. Oh, no, the team I don't like is kicking it. Yes, the team I like is kicking it again. I will celebrate with finger symbols. Hey, is that for real, that, that diarrhea-only sign on your bathroom? Peter, this is my friend Omar. He can teach you many things about our faith, including how to ululate. What's that? It's this. La, 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 la. Oh, my God, that's terrifying. I, I don't know if I'm ready for that. No, Peter, it's okay. Just sing the beginning of La Bamba, but don't say the La Bamba part. Oh, okay. La, 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 yes, good job. You're doing it. Bamba. Ooh, so close. All right, Lois, I'm off to the bazaar. What do you mean? You mean the market? Yeah, the bazaar. Well, if you go into the market, can you pick up some cereal, some butter, and a loaf of bread? I'll see what they have. All right, Lois, here's six cobras, a bolt of silk, and a ram's horn. Peter, what the hell? Hey, can you help me with the 20 paper bags of dates I got in the car? Why the hell would you get 20 bags of dates? The monkey in the little vest who was selling them happened to be very persuasive. <sighs> you know what? Fine. I'm just gonna assume this will pass, like your everywhere is a racquetball court phase. So, Mike, now that you've thoroughly kicked my butt all over the court, what do you say we take one quick second to talk about the Wichita account? And let me assure you, my racquetball game is no indication of how we do business here at J.T. Stern. <laughs> okay, zero serving zero. I have to say, Peter, I am impressed by how much you have committed yourself to Islam. Are you kidding? It's awesome. I even started wearing leather sandals with way too long toenails. See how the big ones are getting yellow? Ah, yes, very Muslim. Listen, Peter, some friends of mine and I are getting together tonight, and we wanted to invite you to join us. O-M-A. I am so there. Whose crappy van shall we take? Actually, we are meeting here. Follow me. Oh, hey, you guys. Hey, is anyone going to object if I pick my nose with a dagger? Mahmoud, who is this man? Why would you bring him here? Do not worry. This is Peter. He believes in our cause. How can you be sure? Give him the test. Who is better, Hulk Hogan or the Iron Sheik? Um, the Iron Sheik? Okay, he is one of us. I told you, look at him. He's the perfect man to help us blow up the Quahog Bridge. <laughs> ah, oh my god, everybody down! <laughs> so are these toys just like to take? <laughs> Hey, guys, what football team should I like? Mahmoud says we all need to act like we're fans of American football, so we seem less... suspicious. What? What are you talking about? I'm talking about Mahmoud. You know, I actually feel really bad for him. You know he knew 19 guys who died on 9-11? I mean, what are the odds? Peter, I think you joined a terrorist sleeper cell. What? That's crazy. Look, I'm gonna call Mahmoud right now on this cell phone he gave me. He'll tell you. Damn phone's busted. Maybe I dialed wrong. Peter, please stop trying to call Mahmood. This is very serious. Your friends are terrorists. Think about it. They're, they're meeting in secret. They're creating cover stories. Oh, my God, you're right. See, I told you Mahmood was bad news. Those guys are all bad news. Uh, hang on there, Quagmire. Just because these few guys are terrorists doesn't mean all Muslims are. Every ethnic group has their nut jobs. We have the Unabomber, Timothy McVeigh, and even that fat guy at the Atlanta Olympics who didn't do it, but he looked mean, so we said he did. Joe, you don't get to talk about the regular Olympics. Well, I gotta go down there right now and tell Mahmood we can't be friends anymore. Wait a minute, Peter. This could actually be an opportunity. You're already in their group. They trust you. If you can find out what they're planning next, we might actually be able to stop an act of terror. You'd be a hero. Well, I, I could try. I mean, I am a pretty good actor. Remember how upset I seemed to get when Lois said she was leaving town with the kids for a few days? Oh, my God. I'm going to miss you guys so much. Don't forget to call and let me know exactly when you'll be back. Get out. <laughs> 